Hi, everyone. Welcome back to watching another body code, emotion code, belief code session with me. Today, we're doing the heart wall. And so I have beautiful woman here to do. She wants to have her heart wall clear. She agreed to be on camera with me. Angela, hello. Hello. Thank you. Ready for this? Are you ready for yep. this? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So actually, I, I didn't share my screen yet. So let me do it. Well, well, are there any issues you think that the heart wall could be interfering, interfering with in your life that you're aware of? Um, possibly having um, a healthy relationship or a um, soulmate type relationship is what I want. So that I think that could be interfering with it. Uh oh, okay. I'm just getting I'm just getting this up here for us. Um, okay. Let me move that over. Let's get to your notes. Yeah. Okay. So in, in the area of relationship, you might be, you're feeling that this could, this could be beneficial. And of course it will. Yes. You know, I of know course, for, yeah. for me, what I found mostly was, um, it's kind of like, I don't get triggered anymore. Like I can just be in that heart space, even if things pop up that would, I know used to throw me off. Now, I don't find that. It's more like, okay, I can just look at it and then move on from there, right? Maybe even be a little more open to receive the guidance that wants to come in. Um, but mm -hmm. people have all types of different relief that they experience from the heart wall. Um, and, you know, sometimes it shows up right away. Sometimes it takes a little time. But no matter what, we want to get those that wall of emotions, because that's what the heart wall is, right? Just all these emotions mm -hmm. that have helped you and protected you before in your life. And if there are any that you still need to hold on to, then we won't be able to release those. But most of the time, we can release the whole heart wall. So that's that's our goal. And hopefully we get it all today in this video. But you know, if there's a lot to it, we may have to uh, stop because at some point your system might say, no, that's enough for today. I need to process this first before I can continue to the rest. So that's kind of, okay. it kind of sums it up. Um, and I think most people that happen to this video that I want to watch what a heart wall clearing is like already have a little bit of an understanding. Um, I'll say that I am going to use the body code heart wall chart, right? Because some of these emotions could be just regular common ones that happen throughout your experience here on the planet, <laughs> right? Some of them could be shared, which is where something happened. I like to give the example of like 9-11. A lot of emotions were experienced that day and more than one person experienced at the same time. So a shared emotion is when something goes on and a bunch, more than one person trapped that same emotion at that time. I've cleared these like when my sister passed away, a, a, a bunch of the family members, we just locked into grief or whatever it might have been, right? Or shock. Shock was one of a big one. So that kind yeah. of thing can happen. And just like an inherited emotion, you can have an inherited emotion that you were born with from ancestry, your ancestry, right? So those two, because other people are included in that trapped energy, um, we swipe with 10 swipes of the magnet because that's what we do with motion code, body code, belief code. We use this magnet, swiping it along the governing meridian to just release that energy, right? We just swipe it through, release it from the system. Um, so those take 10 swipes. Whereas the other ones only take three swipes, three swipes gone. <laughs> so it's just really magical because it's that simple. Uh, there's also absorbed. You might have you might have absorbed someone else's emotion because your frequency was just at the same level to be able to take it on, or you're just empathic where you like took it for them in some way, right? Um, mm -hmm. Prenatal, you can get these things while in the womb, right? So that's interesting. Yep. Uh, sometimes they're your own. Most of the time, it's it's like the parent, um, the mom. And then, well, it could be outside of what, what you're observing, right? Because we don't come here as a blank slate. You know, we're like, we're, we're soul beings here. Anyway, you could have preconception trapped emotions, which are from some other timeline, right? Picked it up before you took the body. And then, of course, inherited, I mentioned. So we'll start, first of all, just by you know, calling in the energies, right? I'd just like to take a moment, just like this little, almost like a prayer, a connection to spirit, to God. 
uh, to, you know, really assist in moving this energy out today, because that's, that's how it happens. Now, I want to make sure that I can test as Angela, Linda, Angela. So I test with this finger here. It's either strong for a yes, weak for a no. So first question, do you have, Angela, do you have a heart wall? And yeah, have a heart wall. So can we clear that heart wall today? Yes. You're ready to let go of these emotions. Yes. All right. So we're just going to dive right in and uh, see what happens. So where would we find this first? And I'm going to keep saying right side, left side. You know, I'm just going to be testing through until we find what kind and then with the chart until we find the exact emotion. So is it something here on the right side of the chart and that's on the left? Is it prenatal? I'm going to inherit it right off the bat here. So we've inherited trapped motion. Then we pull up the chart and we see which one it is. Is it in A and B odds, B1? Is it effort and received, heartache, insecurity, overjoy, so vulnerability? Now, did you inherit this from your mom? No, uh, from your dad, okay. Did he inherit it? Yes, let me put that down. Did your dad inherit it from his mom? No, from his dad. And did that dad inherit it? Yes. From the mom? No, from the dad. All right. So it's dad, dad, dad to start, right? How many generations does it go back? Is it more than 10? Yeah. Is it more than 20? Okay. More than 30, more than 25? No, it's between 20 and 25. Is it 20, 21, 22, 23 generations? So 23 generations ago, somebody experienced something and trapped vulnerability and it's been passed on. That's pretty much how that works. Now I'm I'm forgetting right now. You have two kids. I have three, three, three kids, three okay. boys. What are, what are their names? Uh, Brendan, Mark, yeah, and Parker. And Parker, I can't remember now. All right, and they're all boys, right? Yep. Not that it matters. I just want to try and remember. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask. Did this um, trapped emotional vulnerability, did it pass on to Brendan, no, to Mark, but Parker got it. So we're gonna clear it from Parker and anyone else, okay. your siblings, anyone okay. else, whoever got this. And mm -hmm. it's so easy. We're just gonna 10 swipe it away. But let me ask, are we mm -hmm. able to release this right now? Yeah, okay. Cause you can't really know much about it. It happened so long ago, right? We don't, we weren't there. Uh -huh. So we just swipe it, right? That's two. I want to do for sure 10, five, ooh, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Okay. 10. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, that feels way lighter. And I just, I, I like to add a lot of love. I just, you know me, I yeah. like to I like to add love. So did we release it? Yes, we did. All right. So is there another trapped emotion ready to be released from the heart wall? Yep, there it is. So we're going to go back. Uh, we find it right side, left side again, prenatal, pre inherited. Oh. Okay. It, it's kind of, a lot of times for me when I do this, a lot of times the inherited ones come up first. Maybe because I get so thrilled myself to release them for you. Or your subconscious uh -huh. mind just has a way it wants it all released. <clears throat> you don't really know. Okay, so inherited, what are we going to have here? Is it in A in B? It's odds, one, three, five. So in B5, would it be conflict, creative insecurity? I love releasing creative insecurity. We're creators, right? We don't need any insecurity there, but this is inherited. Now, did this come from your mom? No, nope, it's from the dad side. And did he inherit it from the mom? Yes. And did that mom inherit it? Yep, from the mom. No, from the dad. All right, so I have a dad, mom, dad. Does this one go back more than 10? Okay, more than 20? No, more than 15. Okay, so is it 10, 11, 12, 13 generations on this one? Oops. Okay, 13 generations. Let's ask, did Brendan receive it? No, Mark, no, Parker, no. So none of the kids got it. But I tell you what, I love when I find that there's something I pass on to my child. I want to get rid of it, right? Uh, and it's pretty cool that we can yeah. do that. And I've had so many experiences where 
I either cleared something from my son earlier in the day and I felt the relief it was on my side. It was depression, this particular one. And I felt this opening like hours later, I was teaching karate because I also teach karate. I'm like, what did, what did I do? And I remembered, I had to think about it. I'm like, oh yeah, I gave my son a session. I remember I cleared that trapped emotion and I'm feeling it. And I love how this would happen for me because it just, for me, was like spirit proving to me that this stuff really works because I was feeling even just from that inherited one. So that's why I love clearing inherited because I feel like it's so powerful releasing for so many. So we know we have 13 generations creative and security. So can we release that now? Yep. Let's do it. One, two, five, six, seven. Oh, it feels good. Okay. Nine and ten. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for taking that, clearing that from everyone involved. And let's just add a whole lot of love. A whole lot of love. Yeah. Okay, so we got yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Three. How are you feeling? Good, good, yeah. This exciting, is awesome. Right? It's exciting. Yeah, it is. Okay, so do we have another one we can clear today? Yeah. Uh, is it right? No, it's left again. Prenatal or oh, preconception. Okay, a little different. So something that you brought with you from some other timeline somewhere, somehow. Okay. Um, would we find it in A? And is it odd? Is evens? Two. A2. Is it anxiety, despair, disgust, nervousness? We have some nervousness. All right. So anything we could possibly know about it? No. <laughs> Happened some other timeline, right? So, but can we just release this now? Yes, we can just release it again. Okay, let's get rid of the nervousness. And it's only three swipes. Okay, three of those. Thank you. All right, a little extra love. Mm -hmm. That's released. Can we clear another one? We sure can. Okay, let's go back to this main chart. So is it's right side, it's calm. Okay, something going on during this time, this time, this life. Um, is this one an A? Yes. Is it odds? It's evens, two, four, six. A six. Humiliation, jealousy, longing, lust, overwhelm. Overwhelm. Now, I'm going to ask if there's anything we need to know about it before we can clear it. Sometimes your subconscious mind wants to pull up the experience for you to, to know what it was. Like your subconscious mind wants your conscious mind to know what happened. So is there something that we need to know and understand and decode around this overwhelm? No, we can just clear it. All right, so let's just release it. You know, and it's we've done some sessions already. I find that when I work with people and they're already like in the groove, a lot of times you're like, no, throw it out throw it out but if your yeah. subconscious mind wants you to know we're gonna know all right so let's get rid of the okay. overwhelm <sighs> oh yeah that feels good all right thank you god thank you thank you released yeah so you know we're just releasing it to the light right just sending it out there letting it dissolve in that beautiful light we got that is there another one we can release today yep another one Okay, so, and you know, I'll, set, I'll send you all these notes so you'll have it all. All right, okay. so where's this next one? It, it's also on the right. Is it common? No, shared. So this one's absorbed. All right, so what are we going to find? Uh, is it A, it's B, on one, three. B, three, we have confusion, defensiveness, grief, self-abuse, stubbornness. <laughs> absorb stubbornness now um is there something we need to understand know about how this came about when you pick this up do we need to know something yes we do need to know something so unless something popped in your head because sometimes your your intuition your subconscious mind boom it lets, gives you a, a memory or a thought did anything come in no except for i've always been stubborn <laughs> okay. but now this was absorbed so that, but that's so, a good yeah. example, right? Because an absorbed emotion, you're either vibrating at that frequency and taking it on from the other person, right? So if it's a familiar mm -hmm. frequency, stubbornness, mm -hmm. I used to be kind of stubborn like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so maybe that's part of why you absorbed it, just knowing that 
you've had this experience, but um, there's something we need to know. So let's find an, do we, do we need, let's find an age. All right, so did this happen between the ages of one and 20? Yeah, was it one and 10? No, 10 and 20, 10 and 15, 15 and 20, 15, 16, 17, age 18. All right, so age 18, do we need to know more? Yeah, we need to know something more. So that's that like leaving high school, maybe going to college time. And when we get an mm -hmm. age, it could be 17, 18, 19. It's plus or minus a year, right? So mm -hmm. anything come to mind around age 18? If not, I can ask some questions. Um, I left home at age 18 and I decided that um, I was just going to do everything my way. <laughs> so that could be. <laughs> so is that like, is that when you like really took a stand of that? Like you had to just, I have to do it my way. I have to be on my own. I'm going away. All right. So yeah, that what actually, I left home when I was 17. So prior to that, and then it was, yeah, okay. I was going to graduate high school. I was going to do it all. It was all on my own. All right. So, um, okay. So is that what this is about? Yeah. So this is, um, this is when you um, decided to move out, move out and do things your way. We'll put it like that. Right. Okay. Like to be, to be like, yeah, this is, what I'm doing so but but the energy of stubbornness was trapped in some way at that time now do we need to know anything else no because you know maybe we need to know where in the body or actually mm -hmm. but this was absorbed right so that was your experience of you moving out but you absorbed this stubbornness but is there anything else we need to know no but it's something around that at that time were that you butting against someone else's stubbornness like your parents or something like that yeah, probably my stepfather. Okay, well, let's ask. Absorb. Do we need to know more? No, but why not ask the question? Did you absorb this from your stepfather while you were going through this whole thing where you decided to make this move? And that's a yes. Okay, we didn't really need to know that, but you know, it's, you know, so if we're interested, we're going to ask questions. Okay. okay, absorb from the stepfather. Now, anything else we need to know here? No, so we can release this now from your heart. Well, yes. All right, let's do it one it's only three swipes Ooh, that feels good three oh yeah okay i feel like doing a couple more <laughs> and add a little light and yeah. is that released yeah because it was probably yeah. a pretty empowering yeah. time in your life it, yeah it was very empowering yeah okay. so now we got rid of that little bit of stubbornness which would be a nagging energy against that empowerment right so it's good to get rid of it mm -hmm. Um, and probably that in some way, because it's a heart wall, it's there because it thinks it's protecting you in some way. Mm -hmm. So why we mm -hmm. absorb them as part of our protection, I don't know, but you know, that's pretty much what, what the heart wall is all about, right? Just all these trapped emotions, it's there. Like sometimes a person is not just not able to release the heart wall yet because it's still serving them in some way. They're going mm -hmm. through something where they still need that protection. But if we, when we don't need it, we want to clear it so that all that good stuff can come in because it, it's a wall. We don't want to block things. Um, and you're you're really wanting to open up more to um, relationships, right? Yes. Romantic yes. relationships or all relationships? Re romantic relationship. Okay, I'm ready cool. to have like a real relationship with a partner. All right. So I've never had a successful, um, I've been married three times, had lots of boyfriends, never had a successful relationship. So I think I'm ready to do that in a totally different kind of way than I ever have. All right. And so you know, maybe that's why now is the time to do the heart wall, right? Like some mm -hmm. of these things, because for all the different things you've gone through in your life, it was probably, we didn't know we could clear it until, we, until thank God. Dr. Bradley Nelson discovered this whole thing. It was given to him, yeah. um, but now we have this yeah. tool and now, yeah, I can't wait to see like what develops after this, right? So is there another yeah. one we can clear today? Yes, there is. Let's find it. Um, let's see what kind we have. So this next one, is it on the right side? Is it calm and no shared? This is also absorbed. All right, let's see what this is all about. We find it in A and B. Um, odds, the odds be one, be three, be five. So is it conflict, creative and security, terror? We got a little bit absorbed terror here. All right. 
Do we need to know any details about how you absorb this energy? Anything we need to know around it? No. Okay, so can we just release this from the heart? Well, yeah. Okay, let's release it. Terror. Somewhere you absorb that energy. <sighs> All right, good. Thank you. Ooh, felt that in my heart right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give some extra light. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's right. Did you feel anything with that? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. <laughs> um, let's find something else. All right, so where are we going now? Is Can we do another one? Yep. Is it on the right? It's on the left. Prenatal. All right. In the womb, you picked up uh, something in A to B to aunt, one, three, five. So is it conflict, freedom, security, terror, unsupported? All right. Do we need to know anything? No. But, I mean, we could ask, was it your own because it could be you got it from your mom. You can test what trimester. Usually it's the, okay. Was this a third trimester? Yeah, it's usually third trimester. Okay, so unsupported. Is this, did you absorb this from your mom? No, it was your own. Okay. Mm -hmm. How that comes about, I don't know. But, you know, we're wise beings. All right, so uh -huh. is there anything more we could know about it? No. And so we can just release it. All right, so let's release this unsupported trapped energy. Oh, from when you, oh, yeah, that feels good. I'm shaking that one off a lot. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. I gotta give a couple of extra swipes. All right, let's send light. Let's send light to your mom, too. All right, good. All right, so we release that. Light is that energy that heals everything, so I like to spread it around. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Can we release another heart wall trapped emotion? Yeah. Uh, right side, left side, prenatal, pre. Oh, we're going back to inherited. All right, what, what do we have this time here? Something in A. Okay, is it odd? It's even. So is it a two, four, six? Is it humiliation, jealousy, longing, lust, overwhelm? Overwhelm. Okay, so we had overwhelm before, just common of your own. And, you know, you can get the same emotion. It could be, you can get like 20 different common emotions that are overwhelmed. <laughs> for each one has its own frequency, different frequency, right? Um, for whatever it is you're working on. Because we work on many issues for ourselves. You can have these things over and over again. I just want to get across to someone who may be watching who doesn't understand or never saw this before that each trapped emotion, there's only so many we can have on the chart here. It carries a frequency, and so it's overwhelmed with something similar to that. But for this right now, it's inherited. So the only thing we can really do is see if your children received it and what the lineage is. So we'll ask, um, did, did the, was this passed down to Brendan? No. To Mark? No. How about to uh, Parker? No. Okay, so kids didn't get it. And did you receive this from your mom? Okay, so we have mom. Did she inherit it? She did. From her mom, okay. And did that mom inherit it? Yes. From her mom, no, from her dad. And does it go back more than 10 generations? Yeah. Um, more than 20, no, more than 15. Okay, so is it 10, 11, 12 generations for this one? All right. Um, so can we just go right to clearing this for everyone? Yes. All right, let's do it. We're just wiping out this overwhelmed, trapped energy. Ooh. <laughs> three that feels good four uh, five six seven eight nine ten thank you god from taking for taking that from everyone everyone just dissolving it in your life thank you thank you thank you and let's just send love out everywhere to everyone and in every way Okay, thank you, God. Release. Okay, do we have another heart well? Yeah, uh, heart well emotion, yeah. Okay, so can we release it? Another one, yeah. Because sometimes your system will only want to release so many. Uh, and sometimes we can do a, a whole lot of them. All right, so where are we going now? Um, something to the right, not to the left, prenatal. So we have a preconception. 
right, so what did you take here with you? Um, a odd one. Abandonment, betrayal, forlorn, lost, love unreceived. We have lost. It's the emotion of loss. Um, can we go right to clearing it? Yeah. All right. So let's just release this lost, ooh, trapped energy that's in your heart wall, letting it go, giving it to God. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's released. Okay. Okay. Is there another one? There is. Um, can we release it now? All right, so let's find what we have. Right side, common. A, odds, one, three, five. A, five. Is it blaming, dread, fear, horror, peeved? Do we need to know any details about this peeved energy? Do we need to know any details around it, where it came, anything? No. Okay. So we can just release peeved. Let's release peeved. One. Oh, two. Feels good. Three. Letting it go. Sending to the light. Just dissolving in that beautiful God energy and adding a whole lot more of that same love and light. Sending it right there into every single aspect of you. Highest and best way for you. Thank you. Okay, good. All right, so that's released. I have that peeved energy hanging around there. All right, so something more. Yeah. Can we release it today right here, right now? Yes. And is it on the right? Nope, it's on the left. Is it prenatal, preconcept? Oh, another inherited one. Yep, send them to us. Let's get rid of them all. Uh, this time A, no, B. Is it odds? It's evens. Is it two? B2. Okay, what do we have? Failure, helplessness, hopelessness. All right, we have some inherited hopelessness. Okay, and um, was this inherited from your mom, from your dad? Okay, did your dad inherit it? Yeah, from the mom, from the dad. Did that dad inherit it? And from the mom, from the dad. So this is a dad, dad, dad. Uh, more than 10? More than 10? No. More than 5? Okay, so is it 5, 6, 7, 8 generations? 8 generations. Hopelessness is the energy. Did Brendan get it? Mark? Parker? No, kids didn't get it. So can we release it for everyone? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, oh yeah, nine, ten. Let's do a couple, little couple extras. All right, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking that one. And let's just rain that love right down to you. All this love and light, filling up all those spaces and filling up all of those other souls. Thank you. Good. You have another emotion in your heart wall. Yeah. And can we release it here right now today? Yeah. It's, it's, you're ready and it's okay to do more of these. Yes. All right. So let's do it. Your subconscious mind leads the way. Um, where would you find this one? Is it right side? Okay. Is it common? Shared? No. Absorbed. All right. And what do we have absorbed here? Um, is it A? It's B, it's odds, it's one. Effort unreceived, heartache, insecurity. So uh, some absorbed insecurity. Now, do we need to know details of when and how this came about? No. Anything we need to know here? No. Okay. Um, all right. So let's release it. If we don't need to know, we'll just not wait, not put the time into that and keep getting more and more. So we're releasing insecurity. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. One two okay three Ooh, nice big breath on that one that felt good <laughs> all right that's release how are you feeling i'm feeling good this are you is sensing good. the energies yes yes, yes. i okay. feel them releasing all yeah right, great um I, I i most of the time like i get this like shake thing going on but you can feel anything uh -huh. You know, I mean, I, that's I, what yeah. I feel. I'm getting chills. 
Yeah, I love Getting that. Getting close, yeah. And just feeling like overall lighter, the more it goes. Sometimes I notice like the room just gets brighter. But anyway, is there another trapped emotion within the heart wall? Okay, so we still have some more. Um, can we continue to clear that now? Yes. Because sometimes they say to only do so many in, in a session, but I just go with whatever your, your subconscious mind says is okay to do. And I like to keep my sessions to an hour. Some people only do a half an hour. So most of the time you can't get that. I think we've probably been in a half an hour now. Um, but we want to continue. We want to get more. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, right. No left. Prenatal. We have a prenatal. And would it be an A? It's in B. It's on. One, three, five. So B5. Is it conflict? Creative insecurity? Terror? Unsupported? Wishy-washy. <laughs> Funny. I, you're one of those people that goes out and gets things done. Like, so, so am I. Like, when I first got mm -hmm. wishy-washy the very first time, I'm like, no way. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. Maybe you were five, some kid stole your toy, and you didn't stand up for yourself. Who knows what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this is wishy-washy prenatal. So is there anything we, we need to know about it? No, we don't need to know. So let's just release it. All right? So yours, your mom's, we're just going to release it. Someone else from outside of you. Three swipes and it's gone. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thanks for taking that one. I'm filling you up with so much love here. Yeah. Ooh, I feel that one in my heart there. All right. That's released. All right. So, you know, could it have, could it relate to like relationships and that some kind of energy like that? Maybe, right? But we're not going to dive mm -hmm. into it and find out all the little details because we just want to clear these energies and just open you up, right? So is there another one we can do right here, right now, today? Yep. Okay. Uh, right? No. Left. Prenatal. Preconcept. Inherited. All right. So we're having inherited splashed about throughout the whole session here. Inherited. Is it in A? It is. Is it one, three, five, five? blaming dread you have some dread here so someone had something going on didn't process the energy completely so it stayed trapped that's all the trapped emotion is it's like energy that wasn't processed um all right so um did this dread come from your mom okay your mom's side from your mom anyway uh did your mom inherit it yes uh was it the mom it was the dad did that dad inherit it yeah or was it mom it was dad I usually only ask like three, three layers worth. Um, was there more than 10 generations of this going on? No. So more than five. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, eight generations on this one. Okay. So was this dread energy? Was it passed to Brendan, to Mark, to Parker? Kids didn't get this one. Okay, good. Um, can we release it for everyone? Yeah, let's do it. One, oh, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, ooh, nine, ten. Thank you, God. Thanks for taking this dread energy away, dissolving in that beautiful light and just pouring in more love. All right, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you. All right, so it so that's released. Oh, I'm a little spinny on that one, so I'm gonna just drink a little bit and ground myself. If I get too far out there, you know, I could I could start testing funky, and I don't want that to happen. All right, uh, I'll just share this because who knows who's watching this? But I learned this mudra from another client of mine where you take your hands like this and you put them right under your ribs and you just, you know, intend to ground deep in, however you want to do it, I like to ground deep into the earth, like really feeling myself grounded here on the earth, really rooted in, really present, totally focused in the moment. Yeah, all right, good. All right, so can we go on and find another one? You can, you can clear another one. Yeah, all right. We're on number... 15. And where is this one? Is it on the right? And it's common. All right. A common emotion. Uh, 
is it A? It's B odds. Okay, is it one, three, five? Is it conflict? Nope. Freedom and security, terror, unsupported, wishy-washy, unsupported. All right, let's see if we need to know anything. Yeah, we need to know something about unsupported. So if something pops in, we'll test it. If not, I'll find an age. Okay. Find an age? Uh, nothing's Nothing's popping in. Popping. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, did this occur between the ages of 1 and 20? No. Um, 20 and 30? Yeah. Okay, 20 and 30. So is it 20 and 25? No, 25 and 30. 25, 26, 27, 28? So 20, around age 28, right? 27, 28, 29. Um, can you place where you were? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, at 28, I ended a, another bad relationship. Um, okay. And I also um, started being consumed with my alcoholism. Okay. So, so yeah. Well, let's ask, is the unsupported have to do with um, the relationship that ended? Yes. Alcoholism, no, not a, nothing there right okay. now. Uh, so yeah. this was had to do with the re, with the relationship that you were that well, it had to do with that relationship. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh. Yeah. All right. So, is there anything more? Any more details we need to know around that? No, I just wanted to bring you to what that was. Um, okay. All right. So, can we just release that right now? Yeah. All right. So let's get let's let's let that one okay. go. Right. The unsupported energy okay. that was trapped. There we go. There's three. Let's give it a few more. All right. Yeah. A few more. Why not? Feels good. Oh, yeah. 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 That's good to release that relationship. <laughs> it's released. You know, on, a, on another session, I'm not going to do it during the heart wall right now, but we can, um, you know, a little bit outside of all the emotion code, body code, belief code stuff is we can maybe release the energy ties to some of these old relationships, like really clean the energy from all that past stuff, like to open you up. Yeah. Uh, in, in another way, another aspect of energy. Um, so uh, I'll make a note of that at the end of this session, but remind me in case I don't bring it up. Okay. Okay. So something more to do here. Yeah. And um, is it okay to release another heart wall emotion? Yeah. All right. So let's do it. Let's go back here. Is it right? It's at left. It's right side, left side. Prenatal. All right. Prenatal heart wall and emotion. Is it A? Yeah. Is it odd? No. Evens. Two, four, six. Humiliation, jealousy, longing, lust, overwhelm. Okay. So we have some prenatal overwhelm. Okay. So anything we need to know? No, not really. It feels like it's from your mom. So I'm going to ask, was this your mom's energy? Yeah. Okay. So it came from your mom. Yeah. That's probably Lots of stuff you can be overwhelmed with while you're pregnant, right? So somehow you yeah. took this energy in. Yeah. And is it okay to release that now? Yeah. Okay. So let's get rid of the overwhelm. One, two, three. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Feeling that moving there. And let's just send love to not only you, but let's send it to your mom as well. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So we released that one. Okay, is there another heart wall trapped emotion? Yes. Can we release it here and now? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Um, is it it's right side, left side? No, right side. Um, common, shared, absorbed. You haven't had many common ones. You only had like three. Okay. So this one's absorbed. Um, let's find it. Will it be in A? Yes. Is it in an odd? No, it's an even. It's two. So A2, anxiety, despair, disgust. We have some absorbed disgust. Okay. Do we need to know? <laughs> you're, you're laughing, but that one brings a smile to your face. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's ask, uh, do we need to know anything particular? Do we need to know what this is all about? No, you probably already know what it's about. If you want me to test anything, I can, but we don't need to. Mm -hmm. want to yeah no okay so uh, can we release this discuss now yes okay let's do it one oh yeah two okay 
three. Whew. Oh, yeah. All right. A little extra love. And we released it. Okay, that felt good. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm spelling something wrong there. Okay, 18. Okay, is there another heart wall trapped emotion? No, look at that. Is Okay, hold on. Okay. Do you still have a heart wall? No, because sometimes it could be maybe that there were, you know, like some that we couldn't do today because you've already done enough. But have mm -hmm. we uncovered all of them, all of the trapped emotions within your heart wall? Yes. Have we released all of these trapped emotions? Yes. Uh, is there anything that needs to be done that was missed or skipped or some kind of information we needed to know? No. So we're clear. All right. Heart wall is clear Woo! Wow. so what do you think how do you feel about that i feel really good about that um the uh it all made sense to me so i can it it is a timeline um for me um the very last uh the disgust it was kind of like that was that was um i that comes from my mom and my stepfather and uh -huh. um just everything, life in general, judgment, disgust. Yeah. So that was really cool to release that. Yeah. No, it's interesting. And I got a major uh, chill. Yeah. <laughs> and it's funny because I could see the expression on you. Like I knew that something, that's why I asked you, I'm like, this hits something. We didn't know the details. You knew all about it, right? So your subconscious yeah. mind's like, nah, psh, let it go. I'm getting goosebumps as we say it. Um, yeah. I stopped sharing my screen, but I'm just looking back. Because yeah, you said uh, right, it brought you right back to, you know, when you were leaving at age 18 and that was that stubbornness we had that that came up around that time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but pretty cool. I love how it's almost like it was like hit the nail on the head right at the end and then there was no more. It was like, OK, good. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Oh, goosebumps still rolling on that. Um, yeah. So that's fun. So I think I'll end this the recording right now and you know, we can continue to chat after that but for anybody who wants to learn more about this you can go to my website lovemylife.coach i have videos on there i mean go to this youtube channel there's plenty of videos where you can learn more about this and uh, yeah everyone deserves to have their heart wall cleared we can do it and it's very easy as you've just seen so thank you for watching and thank you um for angela for um doing this with me for agreeing mm -hmm. to be on camera because it's a personal thing yeah no yeah. absolutely i really enjoy this work it's extremely helpful yeah yeah so it's been great all right cool thanks all right bye everybody mm -hmm.